All right, so let's do our first hypothesis test. It is hoped that a newly developed pain reliever will more quickly produce perceptible reduction in pain to patients after minor surgeries than a standard pain relief. The standard pain reliever is known to bring relief in an average of 3.5 minutes with standard deviation 2.1 minutes. To test whether or not or whether the new pain reliever works more quickly than the standard one, 50 patients with minor surgeries were given the new pain reliever and their times to relief were recorded. The experiment yielded a sample mean of 3.1 minutes and a sample standard deviation of 1.5 minutes. Is there sufficient evidence in the sample to indicate at the 5% level of significance that the newly developed pain reliever does deliver perceptible relief more quickly. All right, so the first thing we do with any hypothesis tests is come up with our null and our alternate hypothesis. So let's begin with the null hypothesis. Okay, so let's notice that this standard pain reliever is kind of the status quo. So we want our null to be that status quo, that the mean has an average of 3.5 minutes for this standard um, pain reliever. All right, so our null hypothesis is that the mean is 3.5 minutes. Now, one of the things I want you to notice at this point is that if we're dealing with a mean, then the null hypothesis will always be mu equals and whatever mean we happen to be talking about. So it's always equal. But the alternate, what is it we're trying to prove? Well, we want for this new medicine to work more quickly. So that means our minutes have to be fewer. So we want to prove that for this new medicine, the mean is going to be less than 3.5 minutes. So that's our alternate hypothesis. All right. Now, let's go on next to identify alpha. Alpha is a 5% level of significance, so alpha is 0 0.05 when we change 5% to a decimal. Let's also identify the other information that we have. We have the mean is 3.1 minutes, and the standard deviation of our sample is 1.5 minutes, and there were 50 patients, so that is in. So we'll have n is 50 patients, our x bar is 3.1, and our standard deviation is 1.5. All right, so now let's get our critical value. So it's a large sample, so we're going to use z is equal to the mean 3.1, minus mu, our 3.5 that we have up in our um, null hypothesis. And that goes over the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So 1.5 divided by the square root of 50. And this gives us negative 0.4 on top divided by, and if we put 1.5 divided by the square root of 50 in our calculator, that's going to give us 0 0.212132. And then if we make that last division, that is negative 1.89. And remember, we, well, we're going to see we only need these to two decimal places. Because like our Z chart, when we look things up on the Z chart, we only get our Z values to two decimal places. And we're going to compare it to what we get for Z of alpha over here in a second. Now, since this is a one-tailed test, it's a left-tailed test, we can tell because our alternate hypothesis is pointing toward the left. The inequality points toward the left. So... Since it's a one-tailed test, we don't need to divide alpha by 2. What we need to do is look on our standard normal table and find 
what the closest value is that has an area of 0 0.05 on the table. All right, so let's do that. All right, so here's our standard table from our appendix. And if we look right here in the body, we have 0 0.0505 and 0 0.0495. And 0 0.05 would fall directly in between these two, the same distance away from both of them. So if we look, this one, 0 0.0505, corresponds to negative 1.64. And this one, 0 0.0495, corresponds to negative 1.65. So recall, we go in between those two. Our value is negative 1.645. Okay, so I've drawn this somewhat ugly um, bell curve here. But let's note um, that over here, and... All right, so here's my rather ugly normal curve picture. And remember, on the standard normal curve, the mean is 0, and our critical value of negative 1.645 would be somewhere here on the left. Remember, negatives going this way, positives going in the other direction. Now, since our alternate hypothesis is less than, that means we want for anything that is in this area, this blue area to the left of negative 1.645 or less than negative 1.645, if our test statistic falls in there, we reject the null hypothesis. Now, if we look back at our test statistic, we'll see that it's actually in this region. It's actually a smaller number than negative 1.645. Our test statistic is negative 1.89, which is smaller than negative 1.645. So we are going to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternate hypothesis. Now, we always want to state what that means for our particular situation. So in this case, we are rejecting the standard pain reliever and the mean for the new pain reliever appears to be less than 3.5 minutes. And we want to state our alpha value. So alpha in this case um, was 0 0.05. It appears that the new medicine is more effective in relieving pain more quickly.